Hello and welcome to Let's Play Endless Space 2. I'm JC Proton. This is episode 47 of my fifth Let's Play series. We are playing the Rift Born on Endless Difficulty on an Endless Duration game, uh, which is 600 turns max, and we're playing on the largest size O Void Galaxy map. Um, we are going for a Wonder Victory, and we just finished building our second obelisk. So we're, in this episode, we're going to be um, starting our third obelisk, and we're also going to be invading the Craver system, Rigel. Rigel's been sieged down, and it's ready, uh, ready to be invaded, and that's going to give us uh, even more adamantium. So here are the supplies of resources that we have, and you can see in the lower left corner where it says how much is being produced per turn. Um... We're, we're rocking and rolling. The, uh, here's our luxury resource production. Uh, these are the ones that go into us being able to uh, continue expanding. Um, so we're ready to do another one. Uh, currently we are at 36 of 31. So we're over by five, but we are about to start a new um, Autonomous administration. This one's almost done. This one's about to start one and we're about to start upgrading something towards level four So we're continuing to expand um, And we're continuing to raise our, our cap. So we're gonna go ahead and dive in on this battle uh, Let's see we can take a quick the unfallen offer you a proposal You're the caviar of the galaxy Okay, um, so let, we'll do the battle first and then we'll run through this other stuff um, boom, boom, boom. We'll do the invasion. We'll go gorilla. We'll, we'll, we'll invade gently. <laughs> if there is such a thing. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, let's see what happens here. Should be fine. infantry were good. Look at that. They took out 67% of the air units. The armor took down infantry. And the air just mopped up. Yeah, so they did a draft, which gives them an extra 175 troops. So they had a little over 100 troops. Cool. We will, we will capture it. 30 population. Wow, 20 improvements. Nice. Nice system. Rigel is mine! <laughs> uh, five improvements destroyed. One population. Let's see what we got here. Let's check out this system. Totally depleted. <laughs> Excuse me. Totally depleted. Uh, but look at that, man. I mean, you talk about a sweet system. Five planet system, five red sangs, and a hydro mule, and a deposit of adamantium. What a nice system that is, right? Very nice, man. Uh, okay, so cool. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Um, okay, so we did the, th the thing where we we've we've made we actually were able to make peace with the um, unfallen. Was able to, um, to to get a peace agreement with them, and we have uh, a trade agreement with Lumeris. We worked a deal there where. Um, uh, it was pretty sweet. Uh, you know, they wanted to trade, right? But so then uh, I also wanted this system, which was, uh, I think it was called Cancer. Anyway, I wanted that income. Remember, I had uh, tried to, I was going to put an outpost there, but then they beat me to it. So I went ahead and included that in the trade for trade, um, a trade, uh, whatever, agreement. And then, um, uh, 
I, I gave him some resources I didn't need. Uh, I don't remember exactly what it was. It was, I don't know, 60-something. I don't know. It was whatever it was. It was something I didn't need, and so it was fine. So, uh, yeah, that worked out great. So I have trade agreements. Actually, let's look at a trade scan. <clears throat> So I have a trade agreement with them, but I don't, oh, there it is. They're, they have one subsidiary right there. <clears throat> so I guess they have that one subsidiary there and the United Empire has one subsidiary over here at Exturbia. Um, still waiting for this to play out and then I'll just invade this Craver system. Uh, assuming they get it first, I don't know, maybe United Empire will get it. <clears throat> either way, I don't really need it, um, so it's not it's not a big deal. Either way, just like just like I don't really need these, um, it'd be kind of nice to have this one, <clears throat> but I'm not going to worry about it too much. You can see I'm I'm doing fine on uh, income. All right, so um, so the I had part of the reason why I put um, this obelisk here was because I wanted to be able to increase the blue cap because the obelisk gives a fifty percent. Um, bonus to the trade value. Um, yeah, 50% star system trade value. <clears throat> but, <clears throat> excuse me, Um, but it didn't really seem to make much difference. I was kind of underwhelmed by the difference. It's like, okay, I'm at 72.1. It's like, um, I was at 71 point something before, so, like, it didn't really make much difference. So, um, in in deciding where to put the other three obelisks, um, the way I'm doing it, and, and what I did is I, um, uh, oh yeah, I got, <laughs> yeah, dude, uh, we just finished um, liquid composites, so we're going to be able to make uh, primes. We just finished this one, so we can start making the large class holes and we're, we're, we're working on the upgraded version of it right now um, so that's gonna be a cool thing um, okay so where to put the other obelisks uh, essentially I'm going to look at the next three highest industry systems right so this one is pushing 6191 from production into research um, AI is got 46.45. Um, AG already did one. AB is a candidate. Uh, BA is a candidate. And AJ is a candidate. So then I thought about, okay, well, I have these two here. Okay. AB and BA are both candidates, but they're, they're kind of exposed. They're out there, right? And I, I really want my obelisk to not be that accessible. So I'm ruling those out, even though they have really good production levels. Um, it's not going to be them. So then it's basically AI, AJ, and AA um, as the next three obelisks. Um, so then it's just a matter of what order, right? So I think since each obelisk costs more than the one before, I want to do the most expensive one at last at the highest production system right so AA is about 6200 um, and then I've got AJ and AI and AJ is at 4320 and AI is at 4645 so it seems like the way to go would be AJ then AI then AA so I guess this is where the next obelisk is going to go I kind of would like to put it here, just like a bang, bang, bang. But I think it'll be a little bit faster if I actually do. <clears throat> I, I don't know if it really matters that much, but. <clears throat> I think I'll go ahead and uh, put it in here. So this is going to be the next obelisk. So this one is 80,000 industry, 250 titanium and hyperium, 160 adamantium and antimatter, and 80 orichalcics and quadranics. 
Wow, look at that. Um, when playing United Empire, you can buy it with Emperor's Will. Dude, that would be amazing. Look how much influence I have. Like, when you're playing United Empire, you could literally just go bang, 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 and knock him out. If you had the resources. You could just, like, sur do, do like, a, do, do like a, 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 a surge and just, just take him down. Okay, so let's, let's see how long this is going to take for this system. Okay, 16 turns. Um... As is, however, we're going to do the trickery of the governor. So let's, let's put our superhero, uh, Craver guy. Ooh, he leveled three times <laughs> completing the obelisk. Okay, let's unassign him. And let's go to AJ, and we're going to unassign him. And then, so now that went from 16 to 21 because the hero isn't there to help. And now let's put our super duper hero, Craver hero on there. And now it's six turns. <laughs> wow. Okay. Wow. And how long is he locked? He's locked for eight turns. Wow, how cool is that? Holy smokes. Wow, okay, cool. So, <laughs> six turns from now, I think we might not have the resources built up by then. Let's see. So if this one was this much, the next one is going to be a hundred. We're going to need a hundred quadrinics. But we're up to 16 per turn. That's only, yeah, six turns from now. We'll have another 90. We'll have 150 Quadrinix at least. Um, unless unless I go crazy building Prime ships. Um, cool. And then, well, you, this might be the bar, Adamantian. All right, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to get a lot of adamantium, and we're gonna need uh, quadrinix. We'll have enough, but we clearly need more. Um, so that's gonna be the plan, man. Um, let's see other stuff that's going on. All right, yeah, they're happy with us. They want an alliance. We're gonna say no to alliances. We're happy to just be at peace with people. So I'm at peace with everyone except the Vodjani because there's a possibility that depending on what happens over here with this influence thing going on, where I have a couple of systems that are within their sphere of influence. Uh, if I see those go into, if I see peace signs where they start to pacifically try to convert me, then I'm gonna just immediately declare war. <laughs> Um, these dudes are, we need 40% left. That's 10 turns away, I guess, right? A 4% per turn. That's 10 turns to get 40%. So 10 turns away before I have a hundred percent and we actually start producing influence out of these and start generating an influence bubble. Uh, this one is 48. So it's 15. That's, that's like 13 turns away. Something like that. And this guy is cranking out influence at a rate of 5, 10, 15. Only 20? Okay. So once, once we get these fully under our control... Our influence production should be pretty strong, and we should start pushing back and having uh, having bubbles here, kind of like this guy is. He's got a bubble. Um, so we'll we'll see how that goes. Um, if if he starts converting these specifically, if he gets that tech, uh, the tech right here, um, 
then I will immediately declare war on him because you can only pacifically convert if um, if uh, you're Cold War or peace. So I will just declare war and then that, that puts a stop to that. And worst case scenario, it um, if he does like get the tech and then immediately convert them, then I lose those systems, and then I'm going to immediately go to war with him and invade them, <laughs> I think is what's going to happen. Because <coughs> I'm not going to, I'm not going to put up with that. And then I'll just, I'll just crush him. Um, we're going to continue expanding here. I've got another set of, um, so the, the siege and invasion fleet that I had up here, um, I'm moving it over here. I'm going to bring it up here and we're going to come up here and just take these Craver systems. Um, we're hopefully going to get Zaycor as well. And it looks like we're in the process and we're, we're working on getting Atlas. Um, so we're just going to take down basically all these Craver systems here. And then we're going to come over this way and take these Craver systems out. So we may basically take the Cravers out completely, except for they've got an outpost over here at Vinny, which I don't think I'm going to chase them down. Uh, if they decide to get a new little... Uh, Craver Enclave going over here, you know, more power to them. Go for it, guys. I'm not going to chase you that far, just to uh, <clears throat> just to exterminate them from the galaxy. So um, that's that's my plan, man. Um, let's see. We did a little Craver quest because we have so many Cravers. Um, got to do the level up. Population growing, heroes leveling. <laughs> this dude is crazy on skills at this point. Uh, I'm just putting points into whatever because uh, he has the points. Uh, and this is what we're building. Oh yeah, I wanted to look at the primes. Um, let's look at the prime ships. The prime class hull. Quick look see at that. Is it in here? There it is. Okay. So that's how they would do it. That's not how I would do it. Okay, so here's how I would do it. I would create prime class engine um, defense. Let's see, we're going to go double armor, double shield. We'll try the cheap version first. I like armor in front, shield behind that. Um, Guns, some beans, maybe a little bit more beans. It's pretty good. Okay, armor shield. Okay, and what do we have left? We've got two support modules. Um, let's do more kinetic damage, energy damage. Whoo, 16,000. So if I want to go super cheap version of this maybe go with repair instead okay so a minimum so only spending this amount five adamantian and five antimatter that is a pretty cheap ship costs eleven and a half thousand industry uh, guess we're going with the with the blade motif So let's compare. Spectre is 85 versus Claymore is 12.8 thousand. 33,000 hit points. Okay, so we're going to delete him. Okay, so if we were to build a Claymore, <clears throat> what would that be like 
don't know that I'm going to do it, but if I was to build some... two turns to build one. Those bad boys hit like a truck too, man. Wow. 12,000, almost 13,000 attack power. They'd probably be... Whew, that's pretty cool. Alright, well, maybe uh, maybe when I'm done boosting, um, we'll see what the next version looks like. Uh, we'll see what the upgraded version looks like and then uh, we'll see if we maybe build some. If we do, uh, we don't want to go too crazy on it because we've got a adamantium shortage here. We're probably going to buy some out of the market. We've got a lot of Oracal 6 that we could sell to buy adamantium. We can buy 151. How much is all of it? Six hundred and eighty-two thousand. How much of this would I have to sell to come up with six eighty-two minus one eighty-one would be six five hundred and two thousand? I'd have to sell a couple hundred or a Cal 6. I'd probably be okay with that. Probably going to be okay with actually doing that. I may not do it all in one go. <clears throat> we'll see. But that was um, an extra 150. That would give me over 200 adamantium. So that would balance me out with what I've got going on with the antimatter. And then really the only bottleneck the remaining is Quadranix. And I can buy more of that. I probably have enough coming in. Yeah, I'm probably going to sell Oracalcix and buy Adamantian and Quadranix. And then I'll probably be pretty much set for most of the strategics. That should get us like through the next obelisk or two. So... Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good, bros. <laughs> that looks like uh, that's so that's that's where we're going, man. That's the plan. Um, we're gonna be um, yeah. We're gonna next be invading. We're gonna let's see. We might finish off this siege at Farver. I gotta find out where that uh, that next fleet is down here or over here or something. I don't know exactly where they are, but they're they're somewhere down there uh, on their way. Um, so yeah, we're going to take Farver, Canis, Idris. Looks like maybe I need to get on Idris. Um, we'll do Pictor and, um, we'll come up here. We'll take Lonica and Zaycor. Looks like Zaycor. I'd like to get it if I could. Um, <clears throat> I'd like to. And I've got this, uh, scout here, that outpost. He, uh, he was over here and came across. He was at Atlas, and then once once I missed out on this one, he came over here, got attacked by pirates, retreated over here, and then moved over here to QR. So, <clears throat> so anyway, uh, he's waiting in the wings. So that's that's the update, really. Um, we've got peace with guys. We've got trade agreements with with people, and. <clears throat> Um, probably just gonna mostly focus on taking down Craver systems um, and building the obelisks and it seems like maybe we're gonna be at peace um, maybe we'll be able to stay at peace with the Sofans and the Horatio uh, we've got peace right now with the Unfallen for what it's worth it's not that important but we do have a outpost over here at Quadus um, where we got more Oracle 6 happening. Um, so that's going to become a, a system in seven turns. We could rush it, but we're not because we don't really need to. Um, 
Yeah, and Atlas is going to be done sooner, four turns away. <clears throat> and right now for our boosts from the law, we got one turn left on that one, six on that one, nine and ten. These are the laws we're running. We still have Beachhead Bylaw running. We're just going to keep that one going. We're still running Green Fertility, Mineral Misers. Um, when we finished making ships, we switched over to doing the scientific uh, production, industry and designs. Um, I canceled the um, Scrap King's Law and passed Brains Over Bucks. Uh, since you know, since we had taken a break from making ships. Um, we have a huge amount of um, small ships um, uh, on their way over here to support the, uh, the Craver expansion. You can see how many there are. Lots and lots and lots and lots, hundreds. There's, there's a, 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 probably two or three hundred ships on their way. Um, so uh, it, it's enough. I think it's enough. I tend to do that uh, at, at some point in the game where I just go hard on military and get a big surge of, of fleet. Um, so at this point, I think I'm pretty much done building the small ships. Um, probably going to be building primes. Uh, probably just a few, right? Probably only need one per fleet. You know, maybe one or two over here, one here, one or two here. Um, maybe one here, one here, and then maybe another half a dozen more total. So we're looking at like a dozen or so, maybe something like that at most. Uh, probably won't even need them, right? Because I'm, I'd be building primes to defend myself from people that I'm at peace with. <laughs> so <laughs> there's always a chance you end up at war with everyone, right? Um, so you kind of prepare for that, uh, but you don't, this might be overkill. So um, that's the update. I wanted to just kind of provide that to you guys. Uh, that's where we're at now. We're at turn 185, and uh, we'll be back when I have something of note to report, whether that's like invading some systems or maybe the Cravers can scrape together a fleet. Uh, right now, this is what they've got. Um, which is weak, right? That is that is weak. That is that is not a threat at all to my fleets. This is what I've got um, kind of camped out. Um, this fleet here is thirty-one thousand attack power. This one over here it just took Rigel. He's got twenty-nine. So we're running around thirty thousand. On my uh, fleets here, so a fleet with four or five thousand attack power is just going to retreat or die. <laughs> so that's where we're at. We got lots more uh, ships coming up here that are um, uh, defensive, uh, protector type, garrison type fleets happening. Lots and lots and lots and lots of ships. Lots of ships. So. Um, that's the update. Uh, we will see you guys in the next video, and um, thank you for watching.